Potatoes. They have been cultivated for an incredibly long time. Discovered in the Americas, Asian sailors been thought to bring back potatoes to their own countries. But more widely known discovery was when they were shipped from the Americas to Europe. Colonists bring them further to Africa and Asia. And around 1600, the potato was known all around the world and it became a staple food in many countries. Although not everyone was a fan at first, thinking potato tubers might be poisonous, the devil's apples. They became delicacies and necessities in the end. Hi there! I'm a nutrition student from the Netherlands. And we here in the Netherlands like potatoes a lot. Um, nowadays, I've been seeing that a lot of people have been excluding potatoes from their diets, but there's really no reason why. And in this video, I'm going to explain why potatoes are really quite healthy and you should include them in your diet. Um, but let's move this conversation inside because I'm quite cold. Woo! Much better. Since I started using the potato in my internet handle, I became more fascinated with the tuber and I started researching it more. So what are potatoes? Potatoes are starchy tubers, so not vegetables, although we do classify them as vegetables most of the time, and rightfully so, because they contain a lot of nutrients, vitamin C, potassium, a whole bunch of B vitamins and minerals as well, but it's a whole bunch, so let's break it down. Starting off with the most known vitamin, vitamin C, or ascorbic acid. It is also known as an antioxidant, but we'll come back to that later. One potato can account for 30% of your daily intake of vitamin C. However, boiling the potato will cause a significant drop in vitamin C because its nutrients is water soluble and it will be lost in the water. A good solution for this is to steam the potato instead or use very little water when boiling. Skinning the potato will also cause a significant drop in nutrients, so save yourself the trouble. Just clean the potato and eat that too. Very sufficient. But what does vitamin C actually do? It's good for the skin, keeping it young and fresh. And it's also good in fighting off disease because it improves your immune system. But vitamin C is found in a lot of vegetables and in a lot of fruits, so why choose potatoes? Hypertension or high blood pressure is a common problem in the Western world. In the long term, it can cause heart disease, strokes and many other problems. Overconsumption of sodium is usually the cause, but you won't notice that you're eating too much salt until it's already too late. While lowering your salt intake should be a no-brainer then, potatoes can also help. Potatoes contain a lot of potassium, and this mineral can help you lower your heart rate and keep it from having a burnout. Blood pressure can also be increased by being overweight, but now you might think, hold up. Potatoes is usually a food that will be excluded from a diet where you're trying to lose weight. They contain a lot of carbs after all. What will all the potassium in the potato do if you're only going to cut fat and therefore increase your blood pressure? Some fat diets that have become popular for a longer period of time, like keto or low carb, may have faked the picture that all carbohydrates are bad, but this is not the case at all. We tend to forget that carbs aren't just all refined sugary donuts, as tasty as those can be. They can be very beneficial as well. Not the donuts, the carbohydrates. The carbohydrates can also come in the form of fiber. In potatoes, they come in the form of resistant starch. And this resistant starch is more prevalent when the potatoes are cooled down. So resistant starch is inherently a carb, but it's not a carb that will be fully absorbed by the body. Instead, when it reaches the intestines, it will be eaten by the good bacteria in the gut that will then excrete nutrients for you. Keeping the good bacteria in the gut happy is very important as it improves the body's defense mechanism, but also improves absorption of micronutrients. Next to that, studies have shown that fiber, like resistant starch, has been linked to reducing insulin resistance. This will give further control over sugar in the blood, and this is key in preventing diabetes mellitus type 2. Unfortunately, not enough detailed studies are done on the subject, 
but there are some that sound very promising, like this small study. People were fed 30 grams of resistance starch daily over a four-week period. They found that it would reduce the insulin resistance by 33%. In any case, fiber does not act like any other carb. And potatoes will not just cause weight gain. This has to do with calorie intake and calorie outtake. Meaning that if you replace potatoes with a protein-rich or fatty food, it will not by definition result in any weight loss. If you're still not convinced that potatoes are awesome, then give me one last try. Like I said before, vitamin C is very prevalent in potatoes and it's an antioxidant. We'll get into it now what the antioxidants actually is and why it's so important for your health. For the past few centuries, we've been getting a lot older. This is because we've been surviving so many more minor diseases. However, because of this, the prevalency of cancer has also significantly increased. Cancer, grossly oversimplified, is the uncontrollable duplication of cells. This is because they don't really die anymore. It's kind of like a zombie apocalypse in the body. Because it's a body defect and not a disease that entered the body, it's very hard to treat. This is why the prevention of cancer is very important. There are a lot of things that cause cancer. We have environmental factors and we have genetics, but there are some things that we can kind of control. These things are free radicals and these molecular particles will cause disruption in the body. Free radicals in food are not uncommon. They are increased when food is browned or burned. This is also why frying food isn't the optimal way of consuming it. So no fries. However, antioxidants like the vitamin C we talked about, they prevent an oxidation process that will create the free radicals. Of course, antioxidants can be found in many foods but also in potato. And it isn't just vitamin C. There's also beta carotene, which we can be found in colored foods like carrots or sweet potato. Fun fact though, sweet potatoes aren't actually potatoes, which is quite surprising seeing their many similarities and their names. The only thing that really makes them family is they're both flowering plants. Do you have a favorite potato? or like a favorite dish with potato? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, yes, you can get all of your nutrients and antioxidants from a variety of foods. However, not every one of those foods can replace potatoes in a dish, especially when you don't usually opt for whole grains or just want to switch it around. Potatoes are the way to go. And like I said before, potatoes are very easy to cultivate meaning they can be found almost everywhere because they can be farmed almost everywhere, making them really cheap. Potatoes thrive in temperate conditions, and this is great for the colder regions because unlike tropical areas, they can't produce and harvest nutrient-dense and fiber-rich foods all year round. In the right conditions, potatoes can be stored for up to two months, which is quite amazing for fresh food. And because potatoes can be farmed almost everywhere on the planet, they don't need to be imported and exported as much. This decreases the amount of CO2 that is made by transport. If you are not sure where your potatoes are coming from, check the packaging if you can, and try to go for locally farmed potatoes. Now, I'm not telling you to start eating potatoes like there's no tomorrow, but I do hope I've improved your knowledge on the subject. In a nutshell, cutting out potatoes will not be beneficial for your health. Instead, try eating a healthy and balanced diet that can include potatoes. Swapping out white grains for potatoes will be beneficial. And I hope you know now that the potato isn't just that bad carb that needs to be avoided at all times. If there's an abundance of potatoes, why not give them a go? That was it. I hope you learned something. I hope you like potatoes more now. This is my very first video on a topic like this. So let me know if you liked it and if you would like to see more of it. Um, and don't forget to tell me about your favorite potato. My favorite potato, I think is baked. A baked potato is very nice or mashed. Oh, but if you put it in your curry, it's also very good.